Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm going to do something a little different, and drawing on my knowledge from the electrician trade, I'm going to introduce a new segment, Ask an Electrician. Today we're going to find out, do the colors of wires really matter? So in the province of Alberta where I live, I am a certified master electrician. What that means is that I have a journeyman ticket, and that I've also done a couple of extra tests in order to be able to pull electrical permits to do work for other people. Now, some of the questions that I'm asked are very simple, some of them more complicated, but I want to start today with a question that I do get asked from time to time, which is, do the color of the wires really matter? And I'm here to tell you, yes, they do. In particular, the colors matter for three reasons. For the sake of convenience, for the sake of identifying what the wires are for, and lastly, and most importantly, for safety. Let's talk about convenience first. When I talk about convenience, I talk about ease of work or being able to do something without too much effort. Now, if all the colors of wires that you were using were the same, if they were all the same color, then what would happen is you would have trouble distinguishing one from another. You would run a set of three wires down from one box to another, and when you got to the other end, you'd wonder which one wire was which. Now, it would be possible to test it with a continuity meter and determine that, hey, this wire is this, but it's a lot more convenient to have them different colors so they're easy to distinguish one from the other. Now in your house, you're gonna have basically three different colors and a ground or a bonding conductor, red, black, white, and the bare copper. But in other things like electronics projects, you're gonna have a rainbow of colors and really in those situations, it might just be there in order for you to be able to easily tell which wire goes to where as opposed to the color mattering or being significant. The next reason for the colored wires and, and which color they are is for the sake of identification. Now for someone who's never opened an electrical box before, when you open it up and you see bare wires, white, black, red, it might seem a little confusing which one is which. But to the trained electrician, seeing those wires, which ones are there and how they're connected, very easily identifies how the circuit is connected and also which wires are alive, which wires are not. That makes it much easier for the sake of troubleshooting. Now, identification is very important because it does give a really quick snapshot of how a circuit's connected without having to meter out each voltage or test continuity of circuits. Now, I did have an interesting story one time. A friend of mine asked me to troubleshoot a circuit in their basement, and when I removed the receptacle in order to see what was behind it, the wires were connected in a way that was very unusual. When I tested it, it seemed to be okay, but the connection of the wire confused me. I ended up taking apart every receptacle on that circuit, and what the homeowner had done previous to them is switch those wires back and forth as long as they went, which made it very confusing. Some of the receptacles were wired incorrectly, some were wired correctly, and none of the colors seemed to match. So knowing which wires belong where is very important, and the colors help us to do that. Another thing that the colored wires help us to do is identify the voltage. If I was to open up a receptacle or an outlet, and I was to see that there was both a red and a black connected to something, it would tell me either that there's two circuits, 220 volt circuits, or it would tell me that there's a combined 240 volts available at that outlet box. Now it's very important to be able to distinguish those things right off the top. So identifying which wires are going where and what they must mean is very important. If you were to hook up the colors in a different order or if you were to decide any which way to do it differently, you would be giving false messages and possibly posing a safety risk. As I mentioned before, in your home, you'll typically only find red, black, white, and bare copper. But in an industrial site, you might also find orange, brown, and yellow, which would tell you that it's a high voltage three-phase connection. Or you might find red, black, and blue, which would tell you that it's a lower voltage three-phase connection, like 230 volt or 240 volt, depending where you are. The most important thing to realize if you're doing your own electrical work at home, besides making sure the circuits are turned off before you're working on them, is that the colors do matter. So learn what the colors mean, what color of wire you should be hooking up to which terminal and follow that methodology all the way through because it's very important for the next person to come through to understand what you did. Now, of course, if you were to hook up a wire, it doesn't really matter what the color is, the current's gonna flow through it exactly the same, but it's for the sake of identification, for the sake of passing on understanding of how your circuits are connected. The last thing that really matters when we talk about colors 
is safety. And the reason it matters is because we expect by the colors that we see for a wire to either be live or not, to have electricity flowing through it or not, to have a shock risk or not. So it really matters that color conventions are followed so that we don't have any unintended accidents. Now, in a typical circuit in your home, the bare copper wire is what we call the bonding conductor or the ground. And what that tells us is that wire should never have any electricity flowing through it unless there's a problem with the circuit. So we should never expect to be able to contact that wire and feel any kind of electrical current through it. If you've hooked up the bare copper wire to live power, you're going to be in trouble and it's really gonna hurt. The other thing we would expect with respect to the white wire is that it would only be carrying current normally in either a switch leg or in a three-way switch situation. So normally we would also expect that if the load is turned off or the outlet is unplugged, the white wire or the identified or neutral wire would not be carrying current. That's very important because again, we don't want to have any unintended accidents by having current flowing in an area we're not expecting it. As I mentioned before, also the different colors do give us an indication of voltage. For example, in a high voltage situation with three phase power, seeing orange, yellow, and brown lets you know that you have a 600 volt circuit where seeing red, black, and blue lets you know that you have a lower 240 volt circuit and it's gonna be less dangerous or have a lower potential for damage. That's basically it. So for the sake of convenience, identification, and safety, always know what the color should be, what should be connected where, and follow those colored conventions so that you have a project that turns out safe, effective, and helpful for troubleshooting in the future. If you like the videos we're making, please consider subscribing and ring the bell to be notified of future videos. If you have an electrical question of your own, please leave it in the comments. Let me know what interests you and I'll do my best to answer it and explain it fully. Until next time on your quest for learning and understanding all things electrical and DIY, don't be afraid to be bolder.